Yo, what do YouTube? B Kelly back again with another banger. Today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be talking about George Kittle's story from a three star recruit to an NFL superstar. George Kittle's story begins on October 9th, 1993, in Madison, Wisconsin. George Kittle is the son of former Iowa Hawkeye football player and former college football coach and high school football coach in Bruce Kittle. George Kittle would attend two high schools, but you can really only find stats for one school while he was a senior on Max Preps, and that is Norman High in Oklahoma. But the first school he actually attended for high school was actually Iowa City West High School in Iowa. George Kittle at Norman High, home of the Tigers, he played a lot of positions at his time there. He played receiver on offense, and he played safety and linebacker on defense. And he was a tall and lengthy guy, standing at 6 foot 4 and 205 pounds as a senior. During his senior season at Norman, George Kittle played a huge role playing both sides of the football and being very versatile and helping the team out when they needed him the most. He helped lead the Tigers to a 7-4 record, but unfortunately, they lost in the first round of the playoffs to Owasso in a 45-34 loss. During his senior season on the offensive side of the ball, George Kittle had 370 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns on the season, but he did most of his damage, I would say, on the defensive side of the ball. As a really versatile defensive player for the Norman Tigers, he had 29 total tackles, an impressive 5 interceptions, 1 forced fumble, and 1 fumble recovery. George Kill was not a very highly touted recruit coming out of high school. According to the 247 Sports Composite, he was a 3 star recruit and he was a very low one to put it at that. He was almost a 2 star recruit. And he also was the 1,535th best player in the nation and the 21st best player in Oklahoma, and he only had four offers. Only four. George Kittle's four offers were Iowa, Navy, Air Force, and Weber State. But he got the Iowa offer very late in his recruiting process, literally in his second semester of his senior year. George Kittle would commit to Iowa almost immediately after receiving his offer, but he did that because he grew up a Iowa fan. He was a big fan of the Iowa Hawkeyes, and his dad played college football there and was a coach for a few years after he was done playing college football as an assistant. Going into his freshman season at Iowa, George Kittle was the fourth string tight end on the roster and he saw very limited time. But Kittle would appear in three games for the Hawkeyes that season. He had five receptions and 108 receiving yards, but he had no touchdowns. For George Kittle's sophomore season at Iowa, he saw an even more limited role than his freshman season. He only played one game, and he only had one reception for 25 yards. And yet again, for the second straight season, he had no touchdowns to his name. George Kittle in his junior season would finally see some real action, some real playing time. He played in 10 games, had 20 receptions, and 290 receiving yards with an impressive 6 touchdowns. That season, he even ranked 6th in the Big Ten Conference for touchdowns. George Kittle would improve his numbers from his junior campaign, and in his senior season, he played in 9 games, had 22 receptions, 314 receiving yards, and 4 touchdowns. Going into the 2017 NFL Draft, George Kittle was seen as a top tight end prospect and was one of the 19 college tight ends that was invited to the NFL Combine. George Kittle had a very impressive NFL Combine and for the tight end position group, he performed very well with the other top tight ends in that draft class. He finished third in the broad jump, fifth in the 40 yard dash, and sixth in the vertical jump for the tight end position. George Kittle was projected to be a third or fourth round selection in that year's NFL draft and was even seen as one of the top tight ends in that draft class. Even though Kittle was projected to be a third or fourth round pick, he actually fell all the way to the fifth round and was the 146th pick in the 2017 NFL draft and he was selected by the San Francisco 49ers and he was the ninth 
tight end taken off the board. During training camp, George Kittle had to compete with a bunch of other tight ends for that starting spot for the 49ers. Tight ends such as Garrett Selleck, Vance McDonald, Logan Paulson, Blake Bell, and Cole Hikutini. But going into the 2017 regular season, George Kittle was named as the starting tight end as a rookie. As a rookie, George Kittle would play in 15 games and he started 7 of them. He had 43 receptions and 515 yards and he had two touchdowns as well, averaging about 12 yards a reception, and he caught 68% of the balls that were thrown to him, but that was not enough to help out the 49ers with a winning record as they missed the playoffs and were 6-10 and that season. In the 2018 NFL season, George Kittle's second year in the league, he played in all 16 games and started in all 16 games, and he had 88 receptions for 1,377 yards five touchdowns, and he had a catch percentage of 64.7%, but the 49ers did even worse that season and went 4-12. But that season as well, George Kittle actually broke the single season receiving yards record for a tight end, and he was named to his first ever Pro Bowl. In George Kittle's third NFL season, the 2019 NFL season, he had 85 receptions, 1,053 yards, averaging about 12 yards a reception and 5 touchdowns, and he even caught in a very impressive 79% of his passes thrown to him, and he also played in 14 games and started in those 14 games. George Kittle would actually make his first ever playoff appearance for the 49ers that season because the 49ers had a complete 180. They went from 4 and 12 to 13 and 3 and had one of the best defenses in the league if not the best. But for George Kittle and his playoff run this past season, he didn't really play the best or really make the biggest impact. He did provide some extremely good blocks and some really good energy, but on the receiving end, he really didn't do much in the three games he played in including the Super Bowl. He had 8 receptions for 71 yards and 0 touchdowns averaging about nine yards per reception and i know most of y'all should know this but if you don't know it they made it to the super bowl but they ended up losing to the kansas city chiefs 20 to 31. this season as well george kittle would be named to his second pro bowl but he would not go to this one like he did the season prior because he was in the Super Bowl, of course. Going into the 2020 NFL season, George Kittle is seen as one of the top tight ends in all the NFL. Some will tell you he's the best tight end, but some will tell you he's the second best tight end behind Travis Kelsey. But the consensus is he is a top two tight end at least, and possibly a top tight end. And now, as of the recording of this video, George Kittle is now the highest paid tight end in the league and the highest paid tight end ever. He got an extension for five years, 75 million, six years guaranteed with 40 million guaranteed and now going into his fourth season in the nfl george kittle and the san francisco 49ers are trying to get back into the super bowl and trying to win it this time and trying to go on a full revenge tour some project them to fall off a little bit because last year they did play very good going 13 and 3 but this season i expect george kittle to go absolutely off George Kittle is going to try to solidify his name as the top tight end of the league, try to pass Travis Kelsey, and I don't know if he's going to be able to do that because Travis Kelsey is also really good and has Patrick Mahomes as a quarterback, but George Kittle is looking to make that case this season. You guys tell me down below in the comments of your expectations for the San Francisco 49ers and George Kittle this season. Do you guys think the 49ers will win a Super Bowl this year? Do you think George Kittle will surpass Travis Kelsey as the top tight end in the league for sure after this year? Well guys, if you guys like the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. We are currently on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Tell them to subscribe. Let's hit this 1,000 subscriber mark soon.
That's all I have today, guys, and I just want to give you this quick warning. I am about to go back to school next week, so I'm going to try to put out one video a week to keep the grind going. Let's hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. That's all I have. B. Kelly out.